We are all going to die. It is the unavoidable promise that is the one thing we are guaranteed in life. Death. So now we've cleared up the fact that we can't actually escape death, let's get to the real issue at hand. That we can't choose when or how we're going to die. Currently in Britain, we do not have the right to say, I'll see myself out, thank you very much. Instead, one day, we will all have to watch ourselves wasting away in a hospital bed, counting down the days, hours, minutes, seconds, until our affliction ends. During the summer, I had to watch my granny go through this same derogatory way of death. Except, she couldn't enjoy her last moments with her family, or eat, or drink, or think, or even speak for that matter, because her brain had died along with her last shreds of dignity. For eight days, my family and I had to experience her slowly slipping away from us, knowing the pain she was going through, the hunger, the thirst, the confusion, but not being able to do anything but watch as she forgot us all one by one. I can only begin to imagine how much easier my granny's death would have been for both her and for us if euthanasia had been an option. But it wasn't, and that's what I want to change, because I believe that nobody deserves to die how my granny and so many others have and will do. We deserve more than sorrow and strife. We deserve our dignity. We are constantly told that life is about quality, not quantity. But where is the quality in this? Where is the compassion in this? Where is our humanity in this? The daunting truth is, there is none. Every day, thousands of people have to sit by and watch their loved ones be degraded in death. Not because they want to, but because they have no choice. A survey in Britain showed that 70% of the population agreed with assisted suicide. 70% of the population wanted to die of dignity, but 70% of the population were not listened to. Now, I think it's about time that we were heard. I think it's time to use our voices while we still have them. I think it's about time that we legalise euthanasia in Britain. By doing this, you ensuring that both your family and yourself have the death that you deserve. We are all going to die, so why not make sure that your death is as good as your life?